Without any further ado, please can we welcome the Prime Minister from Oxford, Ben to the stage. Just 
legitimate if this war is going to be a proper war for those people to have warfare and destruction brought into their own homes just as they are trying to subject others for warfare and destruction to be brought into their homes. So we think it's legitimate in that way. Finally, we say that the state and religious sites and religions in general are often intertwined with each other. They form an oppressive nexus. It's why Kropotkin said the world will only be free when the last king is strangled to death with the guts of the last priest, ladies and gentlemen. We say that these sites are a symbol of that religion. They are a symbol of that oppression. They are a symbol of that state nexus. And to target them is to target that state. They are part of it. Finally, we say that it's legitimate in and of itself. I think I might have burst my own eardrum. <laughs> so I'll quiet down. We say firstly that the significance that is attached um, is the same as any other particular site. The rolling fields of the French battlefields, the olive groves of Lebanon, the West Westminster Palace during the Second World War. There is nothing which says, apart from the fact that people apply some bizarre, sacred, profane tradition, that these sites are different. Can you tell me why? Many people put God ahead of their own life. Nobody puts the Queen ahead of their own life. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 